I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. over this flame episode okay okay here we go the seventh annual purple pinky peanut run sponsored by williston rotary and the wmhs interact club will be held saturday 10 5 19 it is a 5k run first second and third places will be awarded with a prize for every student at the school who pays 15 dollars to run your pe department will get five dollars and you will get a t-shirt Get your registration form from one of the coaches. You will need to fill it out and return to coach with money. Checks can be made out to Williston Rotary, but you must pre-register before September 30th to get the shirt. So if you just walk up in there and say, hey, I want to do this, you don't get a shirt and everyone else is going to be looking cool with a shirt. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Happy belated birthday to Miss Moberg. We'd also like to wish Miss Perez a happy birthday too. I hope you both have a great day. Okay. Um, this is gonna be fun. I'm coming. <laughs> Woo! Looks like we have the rest of the information for homecoming week. The week of September 30th through August 4th, grades 6 through 11th can hang posters to campaign for homecoming court. Hang your posters. You must use painter's tape or blue sticky putty. You'll see my poster. On October 7th, students will be able to access WMHS webpage to nominate his slash her middle school sweethearts and high school attendance for the 2019-2020 homecoming court. Students, you only have one day to nominate attendance, so you better be ready for that. On October 9th, 6th, 12th grade homecoming sweethearts and attendance will have runoff. Students, you need to visit the WMHS homepage and click on the link for homecoming nominations to access the Google form. Are you going to run? Yes, love! Vote Ansley Penny for ninth grade homecoming attendance. Okay. On October 11th, all homecoming sweethearts attendance will be announced. There will be one boy and one girl to represent each grade level, which is 6th through 11th. There will be a total of three boys and three girls representing the senior class. October 15th to the 23rd, senior attendants will campaign to all grade levels. Be ready. On October 23rd, students will vote on king and queen. So you need to be paying attention to what they're saying because you don't want to nominate someone you're not all for. We will also be having a door decorating contest. So exciting. <laughs> but this is the most important for me because I like to dance. Um, we are bringing back the 9th through 12th grade homecoming <laughs> Woo! Homecoming week begins October 21st and will end with our homecoming dance Friday following the game October 25th. It will be held in the cafeteria. We will have a DJ and the dance will be from 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. You can dress up or dress down. We just want you to come and have a good time. I will be dressing up. I will be dressing up and I will see be you there. <laughs> I will be breaking it down, loves. If you think you can dance better than me, <laughs> you're just going to hand again. Teachers, please check your rooms for any Chromebooks that have been left behind. Please let Miss White know ASAP if you have any so she can retrieve it and get back to the correct student. Please put any issues or requests on the technology help desk. You can join the technology Google Classroom with the code L-Z-Q-E-E-E, -E -E, all lowercase. That's for staff and students. Okay. <laughs> Remember guys, only clear water bottles allowed on campus. Also, no outside food or drink, so please finish it before you get out of the car in the morning. No Yeti cups or I, anything. I mean, I know you probably have some cool Yeti cups, but you cannot bring them. I'm sorry. Well, that's it for this episode. We will see you guys tomorrow because it will be us again. Bye. Bye.